So U of T engineering has kind of been in the in the space of trying to have intentional engagement with the black community. Since last summer, U of T Engineering started an outreach program for black students across the country to explore a career path in STEM. The program is called Blueprint. Blueprint is um, a four week experience um, for grade 10 and 11 students. And in this program, what students are doing is they're not only learning about various fields of engineering and so have very hands-on practical experiences. We start to have conversations about identity, blackness. Um, we kind of build camaraderie between students. You know, how, do, how does their identity impact how one might engage engineering, how one might engage their community. And so we also try to really have intersectional conversations as well. The program has attracted more than 50 participants from across Canada, including Favor Nwana, who is entering her first year at the University of Toronto. My favorite parts was meeting the people who were currently working in the field. So we had like three courses. And the first course was fruitology. We had artificial intelligence. And then we had urban planning. And in each course, we got to meet people from that that were working in that program. Nuana also says she loved the fact that the program was run by people that look like her. It was comforting. I felt because ours was mostly online. So I didn't really get to see them face to face, but at least I could hear their voices. And I could see that they were all smart kids. A bunch of them are also girls too. So that made me feel really comfortable and felt that like I did have a place in STEM. And especially the group leaders who were currently studying engineering. And they were able to do it and they're doing just fine in the program. So I felt that if they could do it, I could do it too. To find out more information about the program, you can find a link by heading to our website, citynews.ca slash extras. In Toronto, I'm Brandon Rowe for City News. Ah,